things are changing so quickly that we have to be willing to hear the uncertainty because it's not going to be answers delivered to us on film. It's no, actually be... the question is more important than the answer. Right. We do have to ask a lot of questions and we do have to put things out there and, and we do have to allow characters who are braver mm -hmm. to also take the stage. Mm -hmm. You know, we, uh, we need people with direction and vision mm -hmm. And, uh, who will and go somewhere new brave. and represent that exactly. new perspective that's happening. For example, I believe that Chris Pine mm -hmm. will do that. I think he's very brave. Mm -hmm. um, the other actors that I've worked with is Josh Brolin, mm -hmm. and he is he's definitely for W, right? for w and he's very powerful mm -hmm. and very creative. He's also very liquid. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we worked on creating the, uh, the aging process of uh, George Bush. So he, you know, I was able to help him, you know, be the younger Bush, the twenty-year-old right, Bush, right. and then the forty-year-old Bush, and so he was able to um, have that kind of evolution. And um, but he's very good in terms of his body; he's very knowledgeable about his body, mm -hmm. um, and um, very disciplined, very disciplined actor, um, very masculine. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can play right. very, very right. masculine. Um, uh, characters. So he's a good example of a character of um, an actor who is has solidity and weight, mm -hmm. but yet he also can be um, uh, mercurial and right. transform him. Himself. And that tra transformative nature is what allows him to do something like play Bush over the course of so many years. Exactly. 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 He, if he was too rigid, rigid in his masculinity. He might not be willing to to change his body the way it does naturally when you age. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I also worked with uh, Taylor Kitsch in uh, the upcoming John Carter of Mars, mm -hmm. and um, he is rather a boyish type actor, a young actor, mm -hmm. but yet um, he's willing to play more uh, brave and. Um, powerful men mm -hmm. so there you know there is definitely a whole new generation of powerful men that are mm -hmm. coming up that there's are a, not there yet right. but they're there's coming a, up there's a few others like uh, Robert Pattinson Taylor Lautner Zac Efron who have the hearts of you know millions of 15 year old girls but I'm not sure how manly they are they seem very very much a new boy very boyish in a, in a new way how, how would you well, they're, they're almost, there's a worship of how they look. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a worship, and, uh, um, and, th and there is almost a very, a very much a femininity about mm -hmm. how they look, you see. And, and they're, so, um, which I think is fine. I think it's, it's probably a healthy thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that those men will be there for a while. Mm -hmm. Because I think uh, younger women um, right. are are very. They need that kind of. They need they they need someone to communicate with. They do mm -hmm. not want to have men that do not listen to them. Right. See, it has a lot to do with communication. So if you're softer, mm -hmm. you're more willing to listen mm -hmm. to what your problems are. Mm -hmm. But also, the the difference is that a man like that will not have a family with you. <laughs> You see that mm -hmm. the, the thing is, you have to remember that the men that look like men, and uh, in the animal world, um, females pick males that look like they they have good genes. Right. You see, gr uh, good solid genes right. to reproduce. That's that's yeah. what they're attracted to. Mm -hmm. And I think in human is also true. I think women, when they look for a man to marry or spend their lives, they're looking for. On the inside, they're looking for good genes, mm. and and the same with men when they look at women. Exactly, Absolutely. exactly. It's just biology. It's bi it's the biology of attraction. Right, but we do have these different male characters that are serving different purposes. We don't have to want to marry every male no, character we see. No, I mean right now, uh, women are attracted to men that are softer, mm. more liquid, uh, so you can c feel like you can be with them and communicate mm -hmm. to them. And that they'll be comfortable with this new definition of femininity, exactly. which is stronger, a little bit more direction. Um, so that fluidity 
is more welcoming, I guess, exactly. to the, the new woman. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting time. It is. In, in you could discuss this happening. for days. We could go on forever <laughs> <laughs> discussing this. And I think it's going to change, yeah. you know, really quickly, mm -hmm. you see, as we progress. Well, I'm hoping that by us talking about it, other people start to think about what's happening. Because people are certainly aware of it. But yes. But people, are, I think, are just beginning to really think about it and analyze it and question where it's going. Well, I hope that the people that really uh, this has an impact mm -hmm. is uh, definitely the audience but also uh, people that are writing stories, mm -hmm. uh, screenwriters, that they write about um, uh, people that are really braver and stronger and that are willing to, um, to lead mm -hmm. you know, and not be afraid not to lead because that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, part of the problem of the kind of content that you're getting. Right. We need people to lead in a new direction. In a new even direction. If it's, even if it's scary for some of us to watch it, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Sure.